Hello and welcome to WebPlus. We're looking at navigation bars today, in particular how you can move past the initial options provided with the template you choose and make your menus look more exciting. We're going to choose the warehouse template design for this video as it offers us a basic looking navigation bar that we can then spruce up using the various designs available to us. First, we'll want to edit the navigation bar on the master page so click to select it, then choose the icon labelled Edit on Master Page. This takes us to the master page, and any changes we edit on here will be reflected throughout each page of the site. Let's go ahead and edit the navigation bar by right-clicking on it and choosing Edit Navigation Bar. If we go straight to the Type tab, we can now see a wealth of designs at our fingertips. As we've started out with a very plain design, let's find something more graphical. In the Simple category, choose Simple 11 with the circular buttons. Upon seeing it in the Design view, we can see it needs a couple of changes. The first is to move it away from the edge of the page slightly, which we can do by clicking and dragging. We can also resize the right-hand side of the navigation bar so it is not overlapping the text to the right. We can now preview the navigation bar as it is and see it working. Good so far, so let's go back into the Edit Navigation Bar menu and pick another design. If we browse the Tabs category this time, we can choose the Tabs 3 design and adapt it through our current website design. Once it is placed on the page, we see the content is replaced with a green exclamation mark in the corner. This is because the original frame for the navigation bar is not tall or wide enough for the new design. Being mindful of other content nearby, we can click drag to resize the navigation bar frame, and the content will then appear. Upon preview, we can see the new design meshes quite well with the rest of the layout. Let's preview some more designs to see how else this navigation bar could end up looking. The designer category contains the straightforward designs that are solid and functional. The graphical category has some more specific and niche designs such as control knobs that would suit a music or audio based website. Illustrative contains some more graphical designs that appeal to creatively minded sites and serve certain looks very well. JavaScript provides menu objects powered by the JavaScript language. Whilst not as graphical, they can provide certain functions like a drop down menu list, which is perfect for saving space on the site layout. The simple category has a variety of simpler designs that work well in all types of themes and can also be easily adapted to better fit the web design. Finally, Tabs contains tabbed navigation bars that work well placed at the top or side of a page because they have clear edges that suit such a layout. There's a particular design I liked in the simple category, so I'll go back to that for my final choice. We just have a couple of adjustments to make, namely resizing the frame and repositioning it to make it line up with the social media icons below. Finally, we can preview the design to see it working and make sure it looks good overall. That covers some of the basics of navigation bars and the various designs available. To find out more about WebPlus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thank you for watching.